I mean, look at the transcript right there. I mean, whatever, putting aside James Risen's total mischaracterization, like let's think about the fact that Democrats are trying to predicate their impeachment process on this. So look, the problem is it's not even clear what Trump is asking for here. It could be damning, but it also could be benign. He first asked Zelensky to go talk to the, he says, whatever you can do with the attorney general. So he wants Zelensky to talk to Attorney General Barr. The problem with that, though, is that Barr says that he never even talked to Trump about investigating Joe Biden and doesn't actually know what Trump is talking about here. So basically, Trump could have just been like like running off at the mouth here uh, and not even trying to like get Zelensky enrolled in this like investigation that, as far as we know, doesn't even exist. And then he says, if you can look into it. Well, again, that could range from, you know, if you could do an investigation or I think, you know, it could mean if you could look into it, if you could find out if you heard anything and let me know, you know, and it's like, all right, again, I don't think Trump should be talking about an investigation of Joe Biden at all with a foreign leader. But again, you're going to try to make a uh, impeachment claim based on this, based on something this vague. And especially given that we've also learned, and I think you talked about this, Jimmy, that Zelensky and other Ukrainian officials didn't even know that the U.S. military aid had been frozen until one month after that call. So it's going to be difficult to prove an extortion plot if the extortion if the extortion victim didn't even know that there was a plot and didn't even know that there was a ransom. So that's the thing people have to remember is that the whole case is that Trump was pressuring Ukraine and he was using that $1 billion military aid thing. He was pressuring them. I, well, I'm sorry, not one billion, but he was using military aid. Uh, and uh, that's what they're saying, that he was using the withholding of that military yeah. aid as pressure to get them to investigate Joe Biden. Well, it came out that the Zelensky, the president of the Ukraine, didn't even know that that military aid was being withheld until a month later. So you're right. How do you pressure a guy if they don't even know they're being pressured? So that was I retweeted Yasha Levine, I think, uh, who's, yeah. who, who caught that. And by the way, Jimmy, side note, it actually would be a wonderful thing for everybody if that military aid was frozen. Right. Because all it's done is fueled a useless and bloody proxy war in Ukraine. But of course, that doesn't even come up. No. It just presupposed that, oh, my God, how could you, you, you froze the military aid? This was military aid that Obama explicitly rejected. The reason why Ukraine is receiving this military aid is because Trump came into office like Obama – he did not want to give that military aid to Ukraine because he didn't want to further inflame a proxy war in, in Donbass, in eastern Ukraine, that the U.S. basically helped start. Uh, but then Trump came into office and he came under heavy pressure from all the hawks in Washington, just as Obama was. But Obama rejected them. But the difference between Obama and Trump is that Trump, by this point, was facing all these allegations of being a, a Russian agent. Right. So a great way to show that he's not a Russian agent to everybody and get them off his back was to say, fine. Let's send them javelin missiles. And the result is fueling more and more of these uh, of, a, of a useless proxy war. And by the way, do you want to know who benefited a lot from that? Uh, you know, weapons manufacturers who also happen to give a lot of money to Adam Schiff and who even host fundraisers for Adam Schiff. And who, of course, has been one of the biggest cheerleaders for the proxy war in Ukraine and who, of course, is now leading the charge to impeach Trump for briefly freezing this military aid is Adam Schiff. So this whole thing rewards and reinforces a reactionary, dangerous Cold War mindset. And the fact that it's being done under the guise of challenging Trump when there's so many things that Trump could actually be challenged for is just tragic.